Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to mod the Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian Control with the Titan um, 5.8 GHz antenna. So as you can see here in the box, um, the Control uh, 5.8 panel. Also it comes with the Quick Connect that you're gonna connect that to the controller and the antenna uh, a mounting bracket and some cable that you're gonna be replacing the stock uh, cable with the quick connect uh, hardware so here's the obsidian control we're going to open it up and install the new antenna system. So first off, let's look at the two. Long nose screwdriver, T5 screwdriver, a plastic prior tool, so you can pry it up, open the case, a tweezer, and also your uh, Phillips screwdriver. So here's the back of the controller. First off, you have to remove the rubber grip on both sides. And also the little rubber feet on the bottom. But first off, you have to remove the cover, the USB cover port using the T5 screwdriver with the four screw uh, on the cover. So now that the cover is off, carefully remove the C1 and C2 cable there. So very gently you pull it out and also the main board controller on the bottom. To remove that, you have to flip the little black lever, uh, flip it up and to loose up that ribbon cable so that you can pull it out. You have to do this very gently. You don't want to damage that ribbon cable. Now you need to remove the, the rubber grips, um, just pull them off. So after you remove all four screws in the back, you just have to kind of pry it open, separate the two plate from the top and the bottom uh, plate of the controller. So now that it's open, carefully remove the battery connector from the bottom plate.
So now that the cover is removed, you can see the terminal. Let me zoom in so you can see it closer here. Those are the stock antenna cables that you need to remove and replace them with the Titan drone provided antenna cables. So here is the other side of the cable. You have to remove that as well and try to route it through uh, the bottom there carefully. So once those cables are out, use your long nose pliers to squeeze up uh, the bottom of the uh, antenna base, those two plastics. Uh, squeeze them in together and pull it at the same time to uh, remove the stock antenna. So now you have to do the same thing on the other side, but first remove that um, part. Uh, it's just make it easier to get into that plastic uh, piece on the base of that antenna. So here is the provided cable that came with the uh, Titan Drone uh, 5.8 antenna. So this is what we gonna be uh, replacing our stock antenna with. So as you can see here, it comes with the two quick connect cable that you gonna be uh, install it back into the controller
So as you reinstall the cable, make sure that the cable is stay free from the gimbal movement so that it's not uh, abstract to the movement of your gimbal. So now it's time to uh, reassemble back the uh, back portion with the battery connector to the main board. And make sure that you um, slide that ribbon cable through the slot on the back uh, cover of the controller so that it showed up on the other side so you can connect that back into your uh, USB uh, port board on the back of the controller. So just reconnect the controller mainboard uh, ribbon cable on the bottom there. Just slide it in and clip into the connector there. And also don't forget to connect the C1 and C2 cable on each side of the board. 